Hello fellow detectorists, yes I'm back out again. It is the 29th of June, it's a Saturday as usual. I'm back out on the parkland, I'm going to give it another go up here today. It's going to be very hot today, they're talking about close on to 30 degrees I think um, in places so I shouldn't be too bad, I'll be hiding here under the trees and um, seeing how we get on, see what we find. I'm here all day, as usual, so you will see me at the first find. Bye for now. Oh, um, a couple of weeks ago I was on permission number two, I was talking to the farmer and he did tell me that in about four weeks time, this was a couple of weeks ago, that he would be cutting the rape, uh, the oilseed rape plants, um, which would probably be, probably be middle of July, so another couple of weeks and I might be back on the the proper fields on permission number two. But we'll wait and see what happens on that. And we'll carry on here for today. And like I just said, you will see me at my first find, whatever that might be. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our first find, and it is a coin, and I don't get many of these, but that is a, at first I thought it was one of the new pound coins, but it's a threepenny bit. Three pence, look, 1941, that's quite nice. I know it's not that old, but a threepenny bit. I think. Same around the size of George. That's lovely. Great. I'll give it a clean up, like I usually do when I get home. And we'll have a closer look. Like I say, I don't get many of these usually. Like I say, I don't get many of these usually, so it's quite nice to get that. Anyway, bye for now. That's our first find. Here we go, folks. How about this? Just down here, I seem to have discovered all around this area here I seem to have discovered a bit of a coin spill because I've now got what I thought I had a little while ago a proper one pound coin a 50 pence coin and a 20p piece how about that <laughs> obviously somebody's dropped their loose change down here out of their pocket. Um, like I say, you do get people come through here occasionally. That's why we find the shotgun cartridge caps. But yeah, that's a first. I'd be quite pleased if I found that on the beach. Still, we'll carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, we've got our next target, and this is interesting, this was quite deep in this hole here. I had to dig down quite a way for this, and it is that, look. Now, straight away I thought that it was probably a piece of furniture 
handle or something like that, but it's too thin. This isn't a furniture handle. This looks like it might be a very crude base to a candlestick or something like that, but it does definitely look old. But otherwise, I don't know. That's not a, a furniture escutcheon or anything like that, or a drawer handle. That's too old and crude for that. Anyway, it's interesting. We'll carry on. Bye for now. Here we go folks, got our next find, it's come from just down here, this was quite deep as well, and I think that is what's left of a silver lighter top or lid, or one of these lighters that's this sort of oval shape, almost like a, like a Zippo lighter. I think that's the, the lid or the top. There might even be some writing on there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let's carry on. Now then folks, before I moved on from that last hole, just down here, look, where I had the the lid from what I thought was a Zippo light, I thought I'd recheck the hole. And yes, you've guessed it, there was another target down there. So I kept digging a bit deeper and I've pulled out the rest of it. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean up and see if I can't... open it because I think this bit comes out of here anyway I'll come back to you in a moment once I've given this a gentle clean bye for now yes here we go folks I've put both halves together now Look, that was the lid that I found a little while ago. What I thought was a lid at the time. And this is the bottom half of it, look. And it does say... Patent made in Austria. So that would have been a lighter at one point. I don't know how old this is. But that would have been the lid. So whether that's silver or not, I don't know. Anyway, how about that? Bye for now. Here we go folks, just had quite a nice little find here, um, and it is that, look, quite a nice little locket type necklace padlock, I should imagine. It's got a loop on the top where I should imagine it was hung on a chain. It is gold gilded, 
um, probably not that old but I'll give it a little clean up now very carefully and see if we can't see anything else on it but I imagine this is probably just gold gilded anyway I'll give it a little clean I'll come straight back to you Yes, here we go folks, I've given it a bit of a clean, and it does look like it might be gold plated actually. Um, I don't think it's actually gold, because the edges have gone, and I don't think gold would go like that, but this could very well be gold plated. But look, there is an inscription on the back, so I'm not going to show all of it, but I think that says August... Maybe 15.15, .15, I'm not sure, but that is obviously meant something to somebody at some time but there is quite clearly a date on the back of that and on the front it's just the little padlock necklace I should imagine so that's quite nice I'll have a quick search around here so and see if I can't find the necklace because sometimes both things are lost together but we'll see. Anyway, that's quite nice. Let's see what comes out next. Bye for now.
Right then folks, we've got our next target and it is this. Now as you can see, it looks shaped. It's got sloping edges to it. It's lead, of course. And I think this is some kind of trader's weight. Um, it looks like there might have been something written on the top of it at one time. There are slight impressions there. But I'm guessing that's some kind of trader's weight. As you can see, it's come from down here quite deep. It gave me about 87, 88 on the display. So I knew it was going to be something, either a coin or a bit of lead. Anyway, let's carry on. Here we go folks, I've got a next find here and I thought I'd show this because obviously it's a little bird ring but it's tiny, this is not a pigeon ring um, It's got Brit, British Museum uh, London SW7 got inform written on there so I don't know whether that means just information or whether that means let them know but you can see that on there the number BC sometimes you can find out extra information if you go on to particular websites and type the information in but anyway that's interesting I thought I'd show that because it's the smallest one I've ever found but it's absolutely tiny as you can see anyway we'll carry on Here we go folks, next target and it is a coin, you clearly see the date of Britannia and the date on there, look 1929, I think this is a, I think it's a George, yeah George, George V, there we go, that's quite nice, always good to get a coin, lovely, let's see what the next one is. Now folks, here we go, we've got ourselves a nice little find here. As you can see, it's come from just down here, it was quite deep. And it is this, look. First of all, I thought, oh, what's this? But I think I, I think I know what it is. It's a lead seal. Um, sadly, you can't really make out anything on the bottom of it. Um, in actual fact, I've just wet it and given it a bit of a gentle rub but you can just see something on there it looks like a, a letter C so that's really nice I've never found one of these before but that is what I would say that is as you can see it's like a almost like a shark fin but they would have held it here I suppose and press that into the hot wax so I'm guessing I'm pretty sure that that is a lead seal
It seems as it's drying out, you can almost make out more more detail on it. So that's great. I'm really pleased with that. That's one of the things which I've never found before. Lovely. Anyway, let's carry on. I'm still in the area where I just had the, um, a little while ago, had the lead token or trader's weight. So maybe this is a bit of a spot here. Anyway, we'll carry on. Hello folks, I just had a nice find here and I've been waiting for one of these. It's come from just here, you just see the hole there and it appears to be a silver thimble. How about that? Now I've never had, I've had loads and loads of thimbles before like I suppose a lot of us have but I've been waiting for a silver one and it looks like I've got it. But I'll just give this um, a little clean up. And you'll see me again in a moment. How about that? Lovely. Yes, here we go folks, look, I've given it a gentle clean, I don't want to clean it too much because it's got a bit of damage on the end. But I'll give that a better soak. And a closer look when I'm at home. I've been waiting for one of these. I never had a silver thimble before. So that's lovely. How about that? Anyway, let's carry on. See what the next find is. Doing really well today. Anyway, bye for now. Here we go folks, had quite a nice little find here. I don't often find many of these. But as you can see, I'm guessing that that is probably some kind of a cap badge. I've just given it a bit of a clean up. And it's got some detail on it, so I'll look forward to cleaning this up properly at home. But it's obviously some kind of bird holding a leaf. I'm not too clued up on my cap badges, so if anybody out there knows, please let me know. That's interesting, I like that. Lovely. Anyway, we'll carry on. Here we go folks, I just had another find down here. Um, as you can see, and it is this. And I thought, oh, that looks familiar. And it's the bottom part. 
of the cap badge look of another one I've just had a quick scan around here for the rest of the badge and I can't find it so but how about that that doesn't happen every day so if I'd just found that bit on its own I would have wondered what that was How about that? Try and get them both to focus. That's better. Anyway, we'll carry on. I'm going to go on to a different area now. Um, still in the parkland still under the trees because it's too hot out there today to be out in the sun it's supposed to be the hottest day of the year today i think anyway Here we go folks, we just had another find, and this time it's another coin, and I think that's a Victoria, it's a tiny little coin. Just make out a bust on there, and you can see around the side where it says Victoria. So I should imagine that's a Victoria Farthing or something like that. But I'll give it my usual clean at home and hopefully we'll get some better detail. Anyway, bye for now. Here we go folks, had another nice little find here, it's a tiny, tiny little thing, so the good old ORX has found it, and it's this, look, now I think, I could be wrong, I was going to say I think this is a little rose farthing, it's in very, very good condition, it's either that or a little trader's token. got a crown on that side it's in very very good condition that might even be a, a date at the top there so yeah, that's lovely I'm really pleased I found that that looks like the um, harp that you get on some Irish coins on that side but it looks like it's got a crown over the top of it I should be able to identify this later that's brilliant that's lovely I don't think it is a rose farthing but it might be something like that of sorts That's great, lovely. Let's carry on.
here we go folks we've got our next find and this is interesting it's another little lead token look but look at the image on there now that is just let me get my pointy stick you can see where it's come from just down here in front of us now this obviously looks like so I've got the farmer raking up the hay in the field next to me so that's the tractor that you can hear anyway he'll move on now a little while ago when it was a bit wetter in well firstly we can quite clearly see this is a person on here uh, legs at the bottom not sure what this is across here it looks like a skirt <laughs> and then an arm there that's what when it was wetter you could just make out that's holding a staff or possibly a shield maybe side on and then the head here look as well then the other arm looks like it's holding a sword how about that now what kind of a token this would be i don't know but they can quite clearly see it looks like it's a sword there this is an arm the head neck the other arm and what looks like it's holding a staff um or possibly a shield like i said and then the legs at the bottom but how about that isn't that nice I'll try looking this one up on the internet or if there's anybody out there that knows that's interesting I love these things these these little lead sort of tokens that's probably the best lead token I think I've ever had how about that anyway let's see what the next one is That's great. 